June has arrived, so that means hurricane season has also arrived. Not something we really like to hear about, but of course, it's a concern down here in the Keys. Hurricane season officially begins June 1st and lasts until November 30th. We're going to get an outlook for this year's hurricane season with meteorologist John Rizzo. John, thank you for being back with me on yeah, the thank show. You. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, John, do you have some positive news for us this morning with the outlook for 2013. Well, actually, the official uh, NOAA prediction for this hurricane season uh, calls for a greater number of storms than we've seen in the long-term average. Uh, we continue to be in a period of about uh, 20 years or so of, of seeing great, uh, greater than normal seasons. So for this year, they're calling for a total of 13 to 20 named storms, of which 7 to 11 of them may be full-fledged hurricanes this season. And so all the ingredients are in place uh, this season to make not just more storms, but also a greater chance of seeing more intense hurricanes. All right, that's not really the positive news <laughs> I wanted to hear, but obviously it is what it is. Now, John, that isn't the outlook, though, for the Keys, correct? Uh, that's correct. These numbers apply to the entire Atlantic Basin, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. There's nothing in these forecasts that implies the tracks of these storms. So it is possible, uh, like last year, to have a lot of named storms, but not much that imp impacts the Florida Keys proper. Now you said that last year's prediction, it kind of grew as the season went on. And this year, it's large already right from the beginning. Is there a chance that it could even grow, grow more? Uh, compared with last year, for instance, uh, the forecasts first come out in late May. Mm -hmm. and they were calling for kind of a near normal season. But as you went through June and July, you get a few storms under your belt that are, you're actually ahead of the pace. And so mm -hmm. the forecast will get adjusted again in August. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully in this case, because the season is already being predicted, mm -hmm. um, very active in, in this sense, uh, that there won't need to be that much more of an adjustment. Mm -hmm. uh, however, but if you do get a lot of storms by the end of July, you, you might see that tick upwards. Mm -hmm. the, the point is, though, is that in the grand scheme of things, be prepared for an active season and just always be prepared for any hurricane season, as we'd say. John, are there any enhancements this year with NOAA weather? Uh, yes, uh, from uh, the National Hurricane Center, which of course their responsibility is for the storms themselves, uh, checking its track and intensity. They're the ones who produce the official forecast of, of the storm itself. Uh, they produce a, a product uh, every six hours called a Tropical Weather Outlook. And uh, this is a, a graphic that on the Hurricane Center's website and, and a lot of uh, folks in media will share. Uh, indicate the chance of a disturbance to, f to develop further into a tropical storm. And uh, these forecasts only go out 48 hours. Well, this year, hopefully by the end of July or August, they're going to expand that to be a five-day outlook. Now, some folks might not want to know necessarily <laughs> five days in advance, but it is important because a lot of times disturbances don't have a good chance or they're in an unfavorable area for two or three days but then they move into an area that becomes more favorable for development. And with improvements with uh, computer modeling uh, and the science of uh, tropical cyclone development, there may be some skill in actually making these longer range predictions. Great, and now where is the best place for people to look for all of this information, John? And it's important, especially here in the Florida Keys, uh, the role of the local National Weather Service office is to break down these storm uh, predictions and the storm uh, forecasts into impacts into the keys because everyone wants to know how high is the, the ocean water going to get, how mm -hmm. much rainfall, how strong the winds. And that's what we do at the local office here in Key West. And so I would recommend that folks go to www.weather.gov, that's G-O-V, mm -hmm. not .com, and slash Key West, all one word there. So mm -hmm. weather.gov slash Key West, and it'll be one-stop shopping for uh, all the hurricane information. If there's anything out there, as well as what impacts, if any, are to the Florida Keys this season. Great. So all of the information that we see on that website is what's produced right here in the local office in Key West. Uh, that's correct. The Hurricane Center, they do a fantastic job with the storms themselves, but they have to deal with whole states, and there might be more than one storm out there. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the role of the local office here is, is to break that down so that emergency planners, as well as folks just watching <laughs> on, on television right. uh, can take the, great, the correct action for themselves to protect their lives, lives of their families, and their property. 
Great. Well, John, I enjoy having you on. I hope, though, that the next time you're on the show, we've got better news to share with the people, right? <laughs> I'd love to share with uh, folks what, what we do and some right. of the tools that we use to help uh, predict weather as, and issue warnings in time for folks to take proper action. All right. We'll mm -hmm. have to do that then sometime very soon. And hopefully it won't be too active of a hurricane season, even though the predictions are out. Hopefully we don't get it here in the Keys. John, thank you for being back on with me this morning. That's going to do it for me today, everybody. I thank you for tuning in. I hope that you'll be able to join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.